Menards. I ended up getting some uh, four by six by eight uh, treated timbers. And those are gonna be what I use to make the border between the gravel and the grass. I wanted something wide because I knew that, you know, with dogs and people walking across, I don't wanna have a bunch of uh, gravel and shit in my grass. So I got those and I also got some uh, this metal edging that I'm gonna put, use to put um, along the edge of the fence. It'll basically be like a picture frame of, of decomposed granite around the edge of the yard. So I don't have to mow right up against the fence. Um, I think it's gonna look really good. It's gonna look really clean, really finished. I fucking hate digging holes. I wish I had a tractor. It's not a difficult process, but it's a labor intensive process. Oh. So I dug this hole. I thought, I actually thought I could get away with not putting gravel underneath these timbers. Cause normally if you're not gonna be walking on them, it doesn't really matter. But then I decided that it's actually gonna be like a step off the stairs. So I wanted to have a really firm base. Uh, yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I can get all that done because the fucking rain, it's raining all the fucking time and I can't get any work done. So fucking angry at the rain. What I did was I put a string down. I put a string line down. I'm not good at it. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because I'm gonna tell you wrong and everyone's gonna yell at me. And that's fine, do it. There's way better people to watch to learn how to lay a string line. It's not me. It's probably gonna look a little bit weird. It works for me. I think, you know, I'm pretty good at eyeballing things. First thing you gotta do, you just gotta dig a trench. Just bend? What? for the fucking power edge. Take back my TikTok. Uh, what do you think about your shovel? Oh, professional my ass. I should have bought the cheap one. Look, I, I'm not light. I wouldn't say I'm made of helium. But you would think that the $30 shovel is not gonna just bend like a blade of grass in a windstorm the first time I really fucking hammer on it. Ain't things ain't made like they used to, eh? Oh, this is also a broken shovel. Uh, now I've got two broken shovels. So the profile of this shovel is very flat. It doesn't have much of a curve to it. Which is good because you can get more dirt on each shovel. But yeah, see, look at that. We don't go to the fucking ground anymore. Piece of shit. Whereas this one has a much more curved profile. So what that does is actually make it a lot more resistant to bending because it's giving itself strength from the piece of metal. I just would have noticed when I bought it. Because this one does not have that same curved profile, resulting in a much weaker shovel. You can just bend it. Yeah, some bullshit. Back to the trusty old Ace Hardware shovel. That is also broken. So that was disappointing. Uh, digging the trenches, it's, it's frustrating. I don't like doing it. Um, Digging one trench is fine. Digging two trenches kind of sucks. Like repeating, like repeating the process gets annoying because you're digging this trench and then you're making sure it's wide enough, deep enough, flat enough. I've got my trench dug and now what I need to do is I need to make sure that my string line is level for when I put in my timbers. It's about right. Then I also need to make sure that my whole trench is at least seven inches wide. Seven. So we're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna gauge uh, roughly. If it's not perfect, it's fine. We're gonna cover it with dirt anyway. So looks like I could use a little bit more taken out right there. Probably ah, look good down there. Might be a little more out right there. So I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna clean that part up, and then once I get the hole all cleared out. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna check my depth to make sure I'm deep enough all the way across. Then I'm gonna come in with gravel and fill with gravel. Dig a hole, 
fill in the hole. Repeat until you die. And then you go buy a bag or ten of you know expensive gravel so that you can level the bottom of it so that your your timbers don't move. So what we do next is we we take uh, yeah we make sure that the now we got all the gravel in the hole right because what you're doing is you're using that to level out the bottom of the hole because if you just try to do that with dirt it's just gonna sink down it's just gonna be miserable so you want to use the paper base um, so once you have that pretty level then you can just it's it's pretty much you just put the timber in the ground excuse me. got to kind of move it around and shake it with a big timber big long timber it's hard to maneuver it a little bit so you kind of got to got to wrestle with it you kind of got to wrestle with that thing got to get a get a show to his boss you can't let the you can't let the timber throw you around you got to make sure you you, you know make sure you can fucking handle it you got to be a man with it you got to manhandle it you can't just you can't just ooh, I'm gonna touch the timber. no you got to move that timber like a freaking Tugboat. You gotta tugboat that motherfucker. And then you get your level and make sure it's level. Now with this one, like I said, I am not going to the string line. The string line is just a guide for Pretty me to get good. along. Um, so I know it's it's off, but it's it's straight enough. It's good enough for what I want to do. And uh, I think it's gonna look really good. I'm getting sweaty, I'm getting dirty. That's how you know you're doing yard work. Got our last piece of timber. And now I'm putting the last piece of wood. All right, last piece. Let's see if it fits. Woo! Perfect. And that's the border. That's the border between the two. Good. I'm exhausted. My hands hurt. It's not even that much digging. It's just a lot. There's so much clay in the back. The, the one closer to the house was a lot easier to dig. There was, the, in the back, it's a lot of rocks and bricks and crap that was still there from, from earlier. So it was, it was a lot slower digging. I also had to go a little bit deeper, but that's okay. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you.